Hey everyone, it's Chubb. I just recorded the reaction to the presentation on Pyro and Mithra. Now I'm gonna read through the patch notes because it's already released. So here we go. Link. Match the vulnerability with other fighters when falling in place. I think that means that his tech now has the same frame data of iframes as everyone else. Editing Chubb here. That is not what falling in place means. Falling in place actually means this animation when the character gets hit by a move like Ryu's focus attack. You see how the character just kind of falls down? Now I think that's universal. Anyway, continue past job. That's pretty cool. Captain Falcon up special reduced vulnerability after hitting an opponent, so you can act out of it faster. Interesting, I like that change. It's a good change for Captain Falcon. We'll boost his recovery slightly, I think. Match the okay, yup, text change. Zelda, tech change. So they're kind of normalizing the grounded tech. Nice. I think that's what it is. Pichu side smash. Decrease the amount of damage taken when using the move. So that's buff. Made the ears invincible. Oh wait, Pichu got buffed. Pichu got buffed. Whoa, okay. That's fun. Okay, nice. So ears are invincible during neutral air. Okay. Decrease the amount of damage taken. Okay. Decrease the amount of damage taken. Fourth throw. Okay. Decrease the amount of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Pichu got buffed. I guess they thought he was too weak, so now he's buffed. Cool. Cool. Reduce vulnerability if you're hitting opponent with Ganondorf. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ganondorf got buffed? Excuse me? <laughs> That's awesome. Is that the first Ganondorf buff in like Ultimate's history? Is that the first one we've gotten? That wasn't just like balancing tech? That's great! Wait, I don't know how much the vulnerabilities have been reduced, but if it's like a significant amount, Ganondorf might be awesome. I mean, I don't think it'll boost him up a tier or anything, but that'll probably make him just a tiny bit more viable, even though, you know, all characters are pretty viable in this game. ZSS. Oh wait, I think ZSS got nerfed? Neutral air, increased vulnerability when landing. Okay, so you have more end lag. Got it. Up special, decreased attack speed. Decreased attack speed? So you can, wait, decreased attack speed. So I guess that means that our actual movement is slower. So that makes it easier to gimp. Does that affect ledge grab? I think it's still gonna be a two frame. You're, like you're still gonna be able to two frame it. That's fun, okay. So they slightly buff zero suit. Wario, up tilt. Decreased amount of time the hit detection lasts. So they nerfed up tilt. Decreased attack speed for the third level charge. Decreased attack speed of the max charge? Hold on, so waft got nerfed? So now it's gonna come out slower. Interesting. So th they're still changing the game. Like, I think a lot of people thought that when 10.0 came out, that they were kind of done with the balancing? No, they're actually still doing stuff. And they're actually nerfing the characters that are kind of strong, but like not crazy nerfs. Enough, that's great. Diddy Kong down special. Increase the amount of time until you can throw another banana peel. I think they're still trying to fix the infinite things with bananas, because like I know there was this clip of Diddy throwing a banana and it hitting an opponent on a platform and boom, infinite. King Diddy side special. Reduce vulnerability. Hold on, they buffed it? Reduce vulnerability, so now you can act out of it faster. Increase the chance the Gordo will get stuck on a wall. Oh, they made it more jank? Increase the speed you can hit back Gordos that were reflected? They made it more jank? Hold on, hold on! They made it more jank? <laughs> awesome! Okay, Rob got a change. Other. Match the vulnerability with other fighters when falling in place, so like other characters, his tech is now in line with everyone else. I don't know if that's a nerf or a buff, because I never really paid attention to the tech frame data. We'll just have to see how that changed. I'll have to like watch Beefy Smash Dude's video on it. I wouldn't really call it a buff or a nerf. I mean, same for all the other characters that add things like that, because I don't really know. Okay, Villager. Yep, same kind of change. Little Mac got buffed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Up smash, increase the amount of time hit detection last. It did get buffed. Okay, okay, nice. Nice. Oh, that's it? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a bit more wild than that. Okay, um, fine. Me brawler, yep, tech thing. Me sword fighter, tech thing, yep. Me gunner, side smash, increased attack range. Interesting, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Increased attack range? That move's already pretty rangy. They increased it? Okay, we'll have to see how that goes. And the tech fix, got it. Palutena, dashed attack, increased vulnerability. So they nerfed Palutena, interesting. Okay, okay. So I don't know if that means that they, actually, this can mean two things. Either they increased the end lag of the move, or they made the part where she's invincible less. We'll, we'll have to find out. Palutena forward air, increased vulnerability when landing. So they increased the end lag on that. Palutena grab, decreased grab range. Really? Oh, I mean, yeah. 
the grab was pretty large compared to other characters, but I didn't think it was like crazy enough to be nerfed. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Kind of a strong character. Shulk. Yup. Tech thing. Isabel. Tech thing. Joker. Side special. Increased vulnerability from EHOS. So now when you do the side special, you're going to have more end lag, but it's only for the regular Joker because it says EHA. If it said Aegon and EHA, then both, you know, Joker and Arsene. Both of those side specials that have more in like here. It's just jokers. Okay Joker down special increased vulnerability when Arsene is present and a counter is not triggered now if you're joker and you counter you're gonna have more end lag, which means that it's gonna be more punishable. I, I guess people were saying that it's kind of a one of the best counters, so that kind of makes sense. Hero, yup, tech thing, Banjo and Kazooie, tech thing. Byleth, down smash, extended launch distance, hello? That move was crazy! They made it more crazy? I mean, I guess. <laughs> Why not? We'll see how it goes. Down air attack, extended launch distance, and extended power against shield! Woohoo! Wait! Hold on, hold- Byleth got buffed, hold up, there's a lot, okay, okay, so, down smash got the launch distance, okay, uh, down air got the launch distance, so I guess that means the spike will be stronger, that's awesome, and then side special, increase the opponent's downtime when shielding from the tip, reduce vulnerability when using the move in the air, so you have less end lag using mid air side special, increase the opponent's downtime when shielding from the Tip. So are they talking about the shield stun? Like the opponent's shield stun when they hit the sweet spot? So I guess they mean that side special will be more safe on shield. I think that's what they're saying. Got it. Up special. Extended launch distance when stepping on an opponent with high accumulated damage? Hold on. Extended launch distance when stepping on an opponent with high accumulated damage. Okay, so they mean that if you get the spiking one, then it's going to do more launch distance. Got it. And it's faster. Okay. And then there's another- Yep, the tech fix. Got it. Min Min, air dodge. Match the vulnerability with other fire- Okay, so they fixed her air dodge. Side smash, shorten the amount of time you can charge a smash attack? Wait, wait, wait. So, was her smash attack not three seconds charged? Or did they shorten it to less than three seconds? Because I know they're wanting to make everything, all the fighters and stuff, pretty equal. I don't think they would have shortened it below three seconds, right? I think they just made it three seconds, because it was apparently more before, maybe. We'll find out, we'll find out. I'll watch the beefy video. Okay, and there's another side smash thing. Reduced launch distance for the dragon's laser when using the dragon arm. So, the special one is nerfed, got it. I think. And then Min Min Other, yep, got the tech buff. Steve and Alex, down smash attack. Increased attack range, so the lava is better now. Okay, I thought that move was pretty good anyway, but okay. Sephiroth down special. Made it easier to hit multiple times. What's down special again? <laughs> I just- uh, Oh, they- they mean the counter. Okay, so they mean that whenever the actual counter part of the move comes out, like when it starts hitting, the multi hits better. Oh wait, that's a footnote here. Falling in place means when the fighter gets hit with a certain attack and falls down to the ground slowly in that spot. They are talking about text there, right? I think they're talking about Tex. They could be talking about the shield break fall. You know, whenever you get your shield broken, you fall down and you go to the dizzy. It could be that, but I think they mean Tex. Is the update downloaded? Okay, it is downloaded. Well, I'll see you on the Switch. Woo, Pyra and Mithra. Yes, the renders look so good. New stage, new music. Here we go, classic mode. Shared Destinies is the name of the classic mode. We'll just go for 2.0, why not? Let's go! We're fighting Zelda and Sheik. Okay, kind of expected that. Alright, so Pyro's movement, yep, definitely feels slow. Yeah, very slow, that's my run. And how is Mithra? Okay, much faster, much faster. Cool. I think I'm just gonna try doing combos with Mithra first. Okay, that's side B. Neutral B. I already know all these because I watched the presentation. Let's kill Zelda. Kill Zelda. I mean, I guess they're both Zelda. Just in different forms. Yeah. Okay, that was probably just the classic mode, but that killed early. I'm really liking how these characters play. Yeah, I only played one match. Boo, hypocrite, but I, I like him. Ready? Feel very good. Go. That's what she said. Yep, down throws a combo move. Oh my- that up tilt! That up tilt! Again, th these are against classic mode CPUs. I shouldn't be basing my stuff on this, but... 
Like, dang! These are some good moves. Well, then my uppy is the edge guarding move. I just want to see how good the uppy out of shield is for this person, specifically. Wait, 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 wait. I have a screw attack. Oh, no I don't. Okay, that almost killed him. Oh, dang it! Why did I think that would work? That's way too janky. Okay, I mean, it's a really good looking move. I don't know the kill power yet. Pit and dark pit. Yeah, I kind of see what they're doing here. These characters feel sick. Like, I really like the character. I'm gonna try to use Pyro for a bit. I've been using Nithra a lot. Okay, I thought that was a... Okay, that thing spikes. Like, that was an easy-to-land spike. Jeez, that's an easy-to-land spike! I just landed three in a row! <gasps> and I fell to my death. Casual shub. Oh, I thought it sent him into the X. That's okay, though. Yeah, both of these characters feel great! I kind of thought I'd like them whenever I looked at their movesets in the direct, but... Like, wow, I really like the feel of these characters. Yeah. Talk is cheap. Oh, Ryu just died, okay. I'll take it. Alrighty. Okay, how can I combo with this side special? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, you can't attack when it's out, but that's okay. Wow, that sent them nowhere. Oh, that's because of stamina. <laughs> I'm dumb. Kirby and Meta Knight. Okay, that doesn't have a very far... Low hitbox? Excuse me, Kirby almost killed Meta Knight? You know you two are on the same team, right? Whew, that was a cool kill. Now check this out. Oh! I know that was a CPU, but that was pretty nuts. Yeah, that down here is a really easy spike. Or maybe I'm just used to spiking a lot. I don't know what it is. Alright, back to Mithra. I'm gonna try doing some Mithra Pyra combos. Yeah, that kinda worked. That was pretty nice, actually. I liked it. Oh, dang it, I thought that would reach. Okay, so that doesn't spike. I kind of just tested it there. It doesn't spike. But Link's still dead. Game. Bonus game! Go. Master in and crazy hand. Kind of makes sense. I think Pyra's the way to go here. Because I'm heavier, and I do more damage. And since I'm not fighting a character... It doesn't really matter how slow my moves are. Okay, I'm taking a ton of damage. I have to watch out. Well, that did a ton of damage. Ooh, still alive, still alive. 
Okay, there goes Crazy Hand. Fully charged up smash. And you're dead. This is an awesome character. I really like this character. Like, they feel so good, and I think the Xenoblade music's good. Stage looks great. I'm gonna bounce, it's late. See ya.